All right guys, so back at Brian's and we got this uh, update video on his uh, air ride. And uh, here's a little sneak peek. She's looking pretty sweet. So um, the video has been delayed because he's been busy with work and having to be able to download all the, the videos and stuff. It's hard, we're doing this all from iPhones. So, you know, sorry for the delay, but yeah, um, this will be the rest of the video and hope you like it. What's going on boys? Northern Fox Bodies coming at you with the uh, part two of the install of the air ride on the 97 Cobra. Mike's here giving me a hand today. Alex is uh, taking a nap somewhere or something. Maybe he's working, I don't know. We'll have to find out. It sounded like a line to me. And here we go. When we last left you guys, all the shocks and struts are in. So she's pretty much ready to go. We just got to get the power and the airlines running into these things before we can start cycling it up. So that's what we're working on today. We're going to be putting the controller into the center console. And we'll pop out right there. And here's all the other fun stuff we're still working on. So we got our lines, airlines, connections, all came with the kit. Still got to mount the manifold to the control board at the bottom there. That's going to go in the trunk. And our power and relay. I've got the lines, the air lines all hooked up on this side of the car. Everything's sort of loosely tie wrapped in place for now. Uh, we ran it on the outside of the car. It's because this car is not going to see a lot of cold weather anyways. Um, so I wasn't too concerned with it. Again, tie wrapped everything up in the back. What we did do Let's see if we can get a shot of it. Is uh, I can't see it from there. We added a grommet to the bottom there just to protect the lines, especially the airlines, right? And uh, the electrical had the uh, loom with it, it came with the kit, so we didn't use a grommet on that side, but I think it'll be all right. Uh, the only real pain in the ass was keeping everything tucked up and out of the way from the exhaust and the suspension, and uh. The board's in, manifold's mounted, and uh, we're, we're moving along. I think that's us for tonight. Family duty calls voice. I will uh, see you on the next video. Okay, so like I was saying, battery charger's there. Just because we are going to be putting quite a bit of strain on here before the car's running again uh, when we're testing the system. So I want to make sure you got a full charge. And my alternator is definitely about to uh, die a horrible death. So we're going to swap that out at a later date. Got the electrical pulled to the front of the car. Just getting ready to hook all that up we've tucked everything up started to snug up the tie wraps all the airlines are hooked up the controller is down there she's ready to go obviously everything we got set up here guys is temporary uh, which is what they recommend when you put the system in make sure you got everything nice and loose and then you can just tie it up and make it pretty later right so there's my lines coming up they're all coming up through the grommets here we'll cut the carpet around it to make sure it's nice maybe put a loom on this clean her up view from the other side manifolds all hooked up ready to go plugged in just uh finding that trigger wire for the 12 volt source it looks like we have something in the trunk that might work for that so i'm gonna give that a shot but i'll uh, update you guys once we uh get ready to test fire this sucker not far now boys hey guys coming at you for the hopefully the second last update for the air ride install on the 97 cobra i'm um, gonna cut real quick here and walk through and around the car and show you some of the issues we ran into uh definitely recommend watching some of the install videos cj pony parts has a good one on there but they did skip out on a couple of things that um i'll touch on here um and then we'll do one last video hopefully with you seeing the kit and all the functions you can do with it and then uh see if you want to take on this challenge yourself it is awesome the stance guys like and the amount of options and flexibility you have with it is fantastic so i highly recommend it so Cut to the next one where we go through some of the issues. All right, so you know, you're doing your air ride install. You get all excited. You got everything hooked up. You get power. You get her triggered. The compressor starts going. You just get happy. You just get visions of this thing going up and down in your head. You got to be careful, though. They recommend in the instructions that you fill each bag with at least 50 pounds each of pressure uh, just to make sure everything's straight and square. And, it was, and we only had it on one corner, guys, but this here 
happened. And apparently if you drop the car with that going on, you're in big danger of ripping the bag. Uh, so all we had to do was use the quick, quick disconnect on the line, which is tucked up in here and release the air from the bag and just give it a little bit of a twist. And then you fill it up again. You just get a little twist that way. Well, or that way, it doesn't really matter. Um, and you fill it up again. We had to do it two or three times. And the last time the bag finally straightened out and everything was fine. So that was one of the, the big issues there. The other one I ran into was on the harness itself. Cause I ran the harness underneath the car. So let me show you what's going on here. There's a second wire here. <laughs> Uh, right here, this gray one. I don't know if you can see that or not. A little gray one there. That's to set up for a second compressor. Now, most of you guys probably know this already, um, but I thought maybe we could use that as a signal wire to uh, get the whole kit fired up. I was incorrect, so I had to run a wire through the firewall and connect up to the line on the harness that's already supplied, which is this little pink one right here. And then the whole kit fired up. So that was the two major issues we had. And I'll give you a quick peek of the setup here. So this is us cleaned up. Um, don't think I'm gonna win any shows with this setup, but uh, that's not my goal here. My goal is here is just to have it nice functioning and safe, keep everything good. Also, the other thing we ran into quite a bit of was uh, we had five leaks in the system after we'd set it up. We started installing this kit when it was, oh, like minus one. Um, and then, so I guess, you know, like 30, two, 30, one degrees for you America folks uh, and now we're all the way up into the 80s um, so you know there's that to deal with as well so you definitely want to go through your kit and we use just soapy water you know brush it up on the connections here so we had a leak here leak here leak there and uh, one there uh, so we hooked that up and then I had two more in the lines on the couplers and one on this coupler in here and then one on the other side of the driver's front um, but that was it we got that all set up Snug that up. Now the tank pressure is staying consistent. And here's a quick shot of our setup in the back. Nice thing is we got lots of access to work on it. Some of the excess uh, wire, uh, rather than trimming it, I just tucked it underneath the board because we had the board raised to uh, so it would sit level anyways. <laughs> something you gotta do. You wanna start four by four? Sure. It actually goes pretty fast. It's tucking, height. it's tucking right now. It's nice. Yeah, the front tucks. The back sits on the metal. And then this is the rise on start level. Back's pretty high. Give it a sec, it'll adjust. Oh, okay. That's not bad. That's about right height, eh? Yeah, and then this is the more comfy setting. If, if I'm alone in the car, I can ride at this height. If I got a passenger, I come up a little bit more. Definitely still got to screw around with it, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. 